Hi guys. This is D Igoratech. Today, we are going to download and install the latest version of Packet Tracer on Windows 11 PC or laptop. Packet Tracer allows users to simulate the configuration of Cisco routers and switches using a simulated command line interface. If you are new to networking then you can start with Packet Tracer but for Cisco products only. If you prefer advanced and more challenging for you to install different products like FortiGate then you can use GNS3 or EVNG. I recommend GNS3 or EVNG because you will be running virtual machines which is very interesting. For GNS3 and EVNG free tutorials, you can check my channel. Go to playlist and choose what you want to install. You can check this other videos and also I have included the images which you can download it for free. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you. We have two options for the installation process. First is online which requires internet connection. Second option is offline installation, you can install and run the application even without internet. I'll show you first the online installation then later on I will show you offline installation. I will share you the files so don't worry. You can check the download links on the description below. Let's proceed. Open your web browser and go to netacad.com. Expand the courses. Choose Packet Tracer. You can change your language or leave it to default. You can also log in if you already have an account. If you don't have Netacad account then we can sign up since it's very easy and it's totally free. Scroll down and look for Intro to Packet Tracer. It tells you that you have to enroll to download your free copy of Packet Tracer. Click Learn More. You can check the hands-on practice later if you want. Now, point your cursor to sign up today then click English. Input the required details. You must enter valid email address because they will email you the activation link. Next is your first name and last name. Choose your country or region. Select your state. You can check the box if you want to receive email communications about learning courses. You must certify that you are 13 years or older. Next is solve the simple math problem. Once done, click on create account. It says that you must activate your account in order to access the course. Open your email account for the activation process. If you haven't received the activation email from Networking Academy then go back to the page and click resend activation email. Go back to your email and refresh the page. We have now received the email. Double click on it to open. Click activate account. Enter your desired password. Make sure to remember the email and password used to create your account because you will use it later. Once done, click create account to proceed to the next process. You must enter the required details. Enter your gender and birth date. Next is enter your experience in IT or networking. You can select none if you're totally new to networking. Choose if you have any disability. Once done, click create account. Now, expand the resources. Choose Download Packet Tracer. Scroll down. You can choose your operating system. We have the version for Windows, Ubuntu, and also Mac OS. Since I'm running Windows 11 then I will choose Windows 64-bit. You can choose 32-bit if you're running 32-bit version. The download process will automatically start. The file size is approximately 198 megabytes. Wait for it to download the file. Once completed, we will check the downloaded file. The file name is Cisco Packet Tracer and the version 8.0.1 and also the operating system and bit version. Double click on it to install. For the installation, we will leave it all to default. Accept the license agreement then click next. Leave directory to default so click next. Click next again. I will leave create desktop shortcut enabled because I want shortcut application to be created on desktop. 
Click Next. Now, click Install. Wait for it to complete the installation process. Notice the shortcut application automatically created on desktop. Since Launch Cisco Packet Tracer is already enabled, once we click Finish then the application will automatically start. You will be asked if you would like to run multi-users when applications start, you can choose Yes. Some features has been blocked by the Windows firewall so you have to allow access. Now, we have to sign in using one of the following options. We have used Networking Academy to sign up so we will choose this option but first, for this version 8 and above. We have this option keep me logged in for 3 months. For the previous versions of Packet Tracer it doesn't have this option so you have to log in every time you launch the application. We can enable this option so that we don't need to log in every time. Let's now choose and click Networking Academy. Now, enter your Netacad email address. Click Next. Enter your account password. This are the details you use to sign up. Click Login. Your account will be saved and logged in for 3 months, you don't need to log in every time you launch the application. To verify the application version. Go to Help, choose About. You can see the running version is 8.0.1. At the bottom you can view all the devices available. The Cisco Routers. Cisco Switches. Hubs. Wireless Devices. Cisco ASA Firewalls. And the WAN. You can also view End Devices, etc. To minimize the scenario, Click on the arrow. That's how to install online packet tracer. Now, we are going to do the offline installation. You can install and use packet tracer even without internet connection. First is we have to uninstall the packet tracer. Go to search. Type apps. Choose add or remove programs. Scroll down and look for the packet tracer which in our case is 8.0.1. Click on the three dots icon. Choose Uninstall. Click Uninstall one more time. You need to confirm that you want to completely uninstall Cisco Packet Tracer, click Yes. Cisco Packet Tracer has been successfully removed from your computer. Now, go to the description box below and look for the download link for offline installer. I will turn off my Wi-Fi since this is offline installation or assuming you don't have internet connection. Open the downloaded file. The file name is Cisco Packet Tracer 8.0. Since the file is compressed then you need to extract it first. Right click on it. Show more options. Choose extract files. Click OK to proceed. Now, open the extracted file. You can view the README for instructions. Make sure to use the provided installer. Disable your antivirus which I don't have one. Disable your Windows security scanning. To do this, go to search, type Windows. Choose Windows security. Go to virus and threat protection. Under virus and threat protection settings, click on manage settings. Disable the real time protection. Go back to the extracted file. Double click the executable file or setup. We will leave all the installation process to default. Accept the license agreement then click next. Leave directory to default so click next. Click next again. I want to create a desktop shortcut so I leave it enabled, click next. Click install to proceed. Wait for it to finish the installation process. We are not going to launch the application yet so uncheck the box then click finish. Now, extract the patch file. Open the extracted folder. If this file is missing then check your antivirus quarantine or check the Windows security. It's a false alarm detection but this is optional, you can proceed if you want. Expand the down arrow then choose allow on device and click start actions. Close the window. Right click on the file, choose run as administrator. Click patch. 
Make sure you see patch done. Exit the window. Again, notice I am disconnected to the internet. Now, let's launch the packet tracer. You will be asked if would you like to run multi-user when the application starts, click yes. Windows Defender Firewall blocks some features of this app so you have to allow access. We are now running Packet Tracer in offline mode. To check the application version. Go to Help, About. You can see we are running version 8.0.0. Since this is offline, you don't need to log in to use the application. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.